Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode number 88. For the episode ahead, I've actually managed to get myself an Abianti task to kick things off. So going to be heading back to Armadale God Wars in the hopes that I can pick up the Armadale Helm, which is the final item I need. My KC is 1130, so a little bit dry. Um, but I also have an elite clue, so maybe we can get something nice to start the episode. Nope. Um, yeah, enjoy. I've had this blood shard sitting in the bank for quite a while, I think since the day of release. I got kind of lucky um, getting it off a drop from one of the Viwatch Sentinels. So I'm going to turn it into the Blood Fury. I'm interested in perhaps heading back to Bandos this episode um, and using the melee method. And this is going to be really good for sustainability. Um, so yeah, stats I think are pretty much the same as the original Fury. And then it's just got the healing effect on top of that, which will be pretty handy. So curious to see how it works out at Bandos. I don't believe it, I just got the hill at Bandos, 143kc. I've had every drop apart from the boots here in that KC. Oh my god, this makes up for the horrendous luck I've had elsewhere. This is ridiculous, this is actually ridiculous. Okay, so I just finished putting together this blade and that will be my third unique godsword on the account, which means I just need the Saradome godsword to complete the set, which is really cool, and at Bandos I just need the boots. Ideally, I would like two pairs of boots, um, one to change into the Guardian boots, so I've got a black tourmaline core, and one for the clue step, but yeah, I don't know really like how motivated I am to grind out two pairs, considering that I've completed all the other items. Um, I'm really, really happy to, to have gotten lucky at Bandos. I think if I could have chosen one of the bosses to get the items at a fairly low KC, it definitely would have been Bandos, so that is really, really cool. I'm very chuffed with that. Well, what do you know? I got round to starting the Armadil task, and that is my fifth Armadil hilt in uh, what 11:31 KC. Pretty ridiculous. Um, maybe it's going to be an episode of hilts, I guess. Still searching for the helm. Uh, I've basically only just started the task, so hopefully you can get another drop before the end of it. Elite clue from armor. Knowing my luck, I'll get another hilt in here. Huh. And this is going to be the end of the task, only got a few aviancies left to kill so I won't manage to squeeze in another boss. Finishing up on 1177, um, yeah not much to say, got another hilt, my fifth Armadil Godsword overall and unfortunately not the helmet so we, uh, we continue on. Can we at least get something good from this elite clue from the armor task? No, a lot of food, otherwise fairly average. That is another Jad task down, that is 23 kills overall. And of course, going to be trading in the cape. Can we get lucky? Nope, not this time. It is a sad day to have to reset the Slayer streak, but uh, I am now going to be Turiel skipping to try and get this Aviancy task a bit quicker. Um, I basically had no points left after finishing that Jad task and cancelling a few more. Um, so yeah, I did have over 1,100 Slayer tasks in a row, but that's reset and hopefully this will be a quicker way to get the Aviancy task and the Armadil Helm. Completed another Jad task, figured why not, it's a decent chance at getting the pets, so going to trade in the cape and see if we can get lucky. No. That's what I was looking for, 239 Aviancy, so a nice big task. I'll head over to the wilderness to catch myself some black chins and then uh, pick up some ecumenical keys, head back to God Wars, let's go and get the armadillo helm. Well that is another armadillo chest plate which takes me up to six overall, first drop of the task and one that I didn't really want to see but there we go. God sword shard coming in off the boss, that is shard one. It is deja vu, another armadillo task done, no helm finishing up on 1,228 boss kills overall, so head back to Turiel Slayer to try and get another task pretty quickly. And that is 97 agility, so two levels left to go until 99. That took a lot longer than the last one, 202 aviancy, so not even that big of a task. I'll have to go and catch some chins, and that'll be another 40 to 50 kills on the boss. It finally happened, I'm so happy, 1,231 kills at Armadil. 
It's finished. I've got everything apart from the pet and of course not going to be going for that. Ah, oh, right at the beginning of the task as well. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. So happy. And so we're finishing up with just the one helmet, three chain skirts, six chest plates and five armadillo god swords. Pretty ridiculous luck I have to say, but very pleased to be done there now. Elite clue from Zora, what can we get? Not very much, but 140 elite clues done now. And another elite clue from Zora, what can we get this time? I think that might even be worse than the last one. Let's see, yeah, 208k before, and this one is, well, pretty much the same, but pretty underwhelming. And another one. Ooh, Black D, Hide, Body G, and a Master Clue. I'm not sure if I've had that one before. Have to check the house. I have not, that is a unique, pretty nice. All right, Master Clue done, what can we get? Ooh, Mimic, very nice. All right, what are we getting? Uh, 485k, that's a decent master clue, I'll say, decent. Little milestone here, 200 Hespori kills on the account. I've only had two buckets so far, which is pretty unlucky, but I suppose once you've got one, that's all you need. And I'm up to over 38 million farming XP, which is pretty ridiculous. I've been doing my daily fruit tree runs, been doing a lot of seaweed, cactus, mushrooms, and what's the other one, belladonna, for a chance of the pet. Nothing so far, I think I might stop at 40 mil if I don't have the pet by then. Leagues 2 Trailblazer is almost upon us and I am fairly certain I'm going to be taking Taranwin as one of my area unlocks. That being said, I've never done the gauntlet before and I'm pretty sure there's going to be a hefty amount of points up for grabs for uh, completing the gauntlet and getting the uniques. So for the rest of the video, I'm going to hopefully learn how to do the gauntlet, corrupted gauntlet and get some consistent runs down. First unique and it is a crystal weapon seed. I've done exactly 10 gauntlets now. Certainly not ready to hop into the corrupted one just yet. I think I need to get the mechanics down a bit better. Um, the preparation is going fine. It's mostly when the Hunlif has the, um, what is it, the purple portal things that follow you around when it changes attack style during that phase. I keep getting hit, but I haven't died yet. So that's encouraging. So I'll keep practicing. And yeah, maybe another 10, we'll hop into the Corrupted and see if we can uh, complete one of those. Got an Elite Clue from the Gauntlet, what can we get? Master Clue, very nice. All right, Master Clue completed, what can we get? Hmm, not too much there. 290k, 55 done now. And another Elite Clue. And another Master, very nice. Master Clue number 56. Oh, <laughs> Tormented Ornament Kit. Oh, that is really cool. That's worth 7.5 mil. Oh, fantastic. Let's go to the bank and put these on. So this is my second Zenite Ornament Kit. I do have the Anguish one, which I think looks the best. Um, but these are pretty cool. Take off the blowpipe. Yeah, pretty fancy. Happy with that. Hey, I did it. It took three attempts, I think, or oh, that may have been my fourth one. Pretty rough, but yeah, finished my first Corrupted. Have to get more consistent now. We are back with another Elite Clue. What can we get? Royal Crown. I think that is unique and that may well finish off the set for me. I will go into the house and check. And it does. Very nice. So that is the Royal Attire completed. And that is my 10th Corrupted Gauntlet completed. I'm getting better and more consistent. I'm dying roughly every other attempt, which isn't too bad. And I'll get those deaths down and get more consistency in there. The loot's pretty good. Um, not that useful for me. It'd be nice to get the Blade of Zelda at some point, but um, interesting to test this out for the Trailblazer League and feeling more confident that by the time that comes out, I'll be uh, good enough to be getting consistent runs. And that is going to be it for today's episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching. It's been a pretty good episode in terms of drops, I have to say. The Armadillo Helmet definitely being the highlight really was starting to feel like I was going to be stuck at armor forever. So very relieved to finally pick that up. And the Bandos Hilt as well at such a low KC. Certainly wasn't expecting to get that. So very pleasing drops from God Wars this episode. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to be taking part in the Trailblazer League, so this is going to be the last Iron Man progress video for a while. The league starts on the 28th of October, I believe, and runs through to the 6th of January. So I'm going to be making some videos for the Trailblazer League, which is um, yeah, going to be good fun. Hopefully try something a little bit different with the videos. 
I won't go into my plan for the league too much, but I've sort of been getting a tentative idea of which regions I'm going to be taking. Though once they release the tasks and the relics 30 minutes before the league opens, it could, uh, could all get thrown up into the air. We shall see. If you enjoyed today's episode, feel free to drop a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the latest videos in the series and the upcoming Trailblazer episodes, feel free to subscribe as well. And as always, guys, take care.